Hey everyone, I wanted to continue my series on using a laser engraver. So today I wanted to talk about making a simple sign with just engraving using both text and an image. So we're going to replicate this sign that's a home with Minnesota State symbol and we'll start out using the Lightburn software, get the file set up, and we'll come back out to the laser and actually run the job. Let's jump to it. All right, we've jumped into Lightroom and what we're going to do is we're going to first import our state of Minnesota outline and uh, bring that in. Uh, what you see is that we have some extra artifacts with it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, clean up this image by removing these external lines. And when you zoom in, you notice that I have actually double lines as well as duplicate top and bottom. So we're going to go ahead and select all the extras, select the top layer, and then we should be left with this hash line that is a single layer. We're going to go ahead and start by scaling down a little bit in size. We'll adjust that fully later. Now we need to bring in our text, so we're going to go on the left side and add our H, and then click over to the right area and add our ME, and then we will quick adjust those to be roughly in alignment where we want them. Now the state of Minnesota is way too big, so we can scale that down in size a bit, get it uh, approximate location, and snug these in closer. And then what we'll do is go ahead and select all of our objects that we have out here. We're going to use our horizontal alignment tool up top, and that will bring them all aligned in the center. So now that we've got them roughly si or, uh, to shape, we need to get the size right. The machine's in metric, so we are going to go ahead and change this to 228 millimeters by 76 millimeters, which would be roughly our 9 by 3 inches. So our, our uh, object is set up, and now we need to set up our cutting parameters. We don't want to cut, we want to do a fill. So we're going to highlight, change it to our, my cyan color I like to use for that, and I usually start with 30 power and 150 millimeter per second. Okay, so we've got our file set up, now we're back out at the laser. So what we need to do is get our piece of wood uh, in there situated, and then we're going to make sure that we've got the file aligned so that it's going to fit on here. So there's a couple things we need to do to uh, make to do that. First off, we'll make sure that this piece is square to the gantry, and then we're going to use the frame function so that we can make sure that it will all fit on here. And if we need to scale it from there and make some adjustments, we'll do that. So let's go ahead and get this set up and uh, test that out. thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the laser is uh, the material is uh, square to the gantry so we run the red dot along the top uh, make an adjustment on one side run it back to the other uh, and tweak that just so it's even right in the middle next we need to make sure by using the frame function that we're centered in the piece we can make adjustments uh, minor adjustments in the position but once we're good to go we can start the burn <laughs> Now that our engraving is done, you can take a look at the piece and notice there's a little bit of overburn from the, uh, the residue. Uh, we can, uh, you can do two things. You can mask it off, or what I'd like to do is I like to take it to the random orbit sander, give it a quick once over that gives it a finished sanding and uh, cleans all of that uh, messy residue off. Then just a quick blast off with the air compressor and we can clean out all the dust from the engraving. If you need to, we can just take it to the table saw, just trim up both ends to make it nice and square. And there we have it. We have a completed sign. You could definitely finish this off. You could add some hooks or some magnets to be able to hang it up. But it doesn't take a lot of work to make a simple sign that's uh, customized and personalized for you. If you learned something or have a question, uh, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear how my videos help or how I can help people out even further. Uh, and if you'd like to see more of what I'm doing, definitely hit that subscribe button uh, as I'll be posting more videos. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.